Today's talk is about Prophet Lut, peace be upon him and his people. His people who chose the unnatural way of fulfilling their desires, though the natural way was available. A group of people who chose filth over purity, a group of people who flipped the truth and reality, and as a result, Allah flipped them and punished them. May Allah protect us all. Ameen Rabbil Alameen. Prophet Lut, Allah said that He blessed him with hukman wa ilma, knowledge, prophethood, revelation. Not just that, Allah praised Prophet Lut. Innahu min as -salihin. He is of the righteous, someone who speaks well, is wise, knows what to say and when to say it and how to say it. Yet with all of that, his people were just very different. They had such evil that no human being ever has done before. Allahu Akbar. Allah said, مَا, سبق, ما سَبَقَكُمْ بِهَا مِنْ أَحَدٍ مِنَ الْعَالَمِينَ It's a sin, it's a filthy action that no being has ever done. Nothing in the records that show this was done before. What is it? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, أَإِنَّكُمْ لَتَأْتُونَ الرِّجَالِ You lust after other men and fulfilled your desires towards them. Your filth and the enmity of yours and lust is not just limited to your people and city, no. You even stop the travelers and you hurt others that may pass by your city to fulfill your desires towards them. And you not just that, not, you're not even embarrassed about it. You are going into groups to perform this fahisha, that evil shameless deed. May Allah protect us. Ameen Rabbil Alameen. Prophet Lut السلام, all over the Quran, he tried to speak to them. And one of the narrations we have in the, in the Quran, he tells his people, Ala tattaqun. Do you guys not care about God? Will you not be mindful of the Creator? Will you not be fearful of Allah's punishment? And what did he also say? Inni lakum rasulun ameen. I am a trustworthy messenger to you. I have my resume, my profile. You guys know about me. Never lied, never cheated. Inni lakum rasulun ameen. I want the best for you. So be God conscious. Don't worship your desires. Worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who gave you other alternatives. And follow me and obey me. I promise I want nothing but the best for you. And don't think I'm saying this just because I want to be recognized and famous and get paid big amount of money. No. In illa ala rabbil alameen. I look for my reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, I want to be recognized by God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then he reminds them of what they're doing. Are you guys really lusting towards other men just like you? وَتَذَرُونَ And you let go. Let go of what? مَا خَلَقَ لَكُمْ رَبُّكُمْ مِنْ أَزْوَاجِكُمْ Of what Allah has given you as an alternative of wives. They are available for you. بَلْ أَنْتُمْ قَوْمٌ عَادُونَ You guys have really crossed the limits and have transgressed. And another ayah, Allah says, بَلْ أَنْتُمْ قَوْمٌ تَجْهَلُونَ This is very backwards. Do not think there's any forward thinking about this. It's enlightenment that what you're doing is great and no one ever done it before. And you came out and you're boasting about it. No, this is complete backwardness. This is against human nature. And not just that, even against science and logic. What was the response of the people of Prophet Lut after you spoke to them? Three things. Number one, they rejected him completely. A to Z. Rejected him. Number two, they didn't just reject him. They wanted to cancel him. They wanted to expel him. They said, Kick out the family of Lut. Kick him out. Why? Why? Because they are people onasun yatataharun. Because Lut and his family, they want purity and modesty. We don't want that in our society. Allahu Akbar. So their crime is because they want to be pure, clean, and modest. Subhanallah. They flipped that which was a great good deed and they made it seem as a horrible negative trait. And number three, they mocked Allah and the religion. 
And they said, قَالُوا تِنَا بِعَذَابِ اللَّهِ إِن كُنْتَ مِنَ الصَّادِقِينَ O Prophet Lut, if you were really a prophet and God sent you, then let God also send His punishment upon us as you, if you were a truthful person, that what we do is wrong and it can get God to be angry. Show us, subhanAllah, mockery to the religion and the people of faith. And after hearing such speeches, Lut alayhi salam, he says, I want to make a statement that is so clear. There's none negotiable about it. What is it? Inni li'amalikum min al I will always and forever, till my last breath, hate such filthy behavior. I will always look down upon it and warn people against it. Not just that, Lut alayhi salam, he went to Allah in supplication and humbling himself to Allah and he supplicated, Rabbi najini wa ahli mimma ya'malun. Ya Allah, protect me and my family of what they're doing. Why? Why is, are you saying of what they're doing? Because Lut alayhi salam knows when there's a society that this is very prominent in it and no one is stopping them and they're continuing to do so, Allah's anger and wrath will eventually come. So Prophet Lut and his believing me family members don't want to take part into this punishment. May Allah protect us. Ameen Rabbil Alameen. Brothers and sisters, after some time, Allah knows when exactly a group of visitors, they come to Prophet Lut, strangers, not seen before. No one knows their names, where they're coming from. And something special about them is that they were incredibly handsome and beautiful. So when they went to Prophet Lut and Prophet Lut السلام, saw them, see abihim wadaqa bihim dhar'a. He was so distressed and he felt like he cannot protect them from his people because he knows how his people, they lust over men in such way. Then Prophet Lut said, this is a tough, challenging day. And guess what? Yes, the news spread viral. Very good-looking men just visited Lut alayhi salam. And who perhaps is spreading that news? It's the wife of Prophet Lut. The wife of Prophet Lut, yes. She was spreading that news. Though she was not participating in these actions, but she was spreading and encouraging it and taking part in it in, ter in terms of facilitating the path for them. وَجَاءَ وَجَاءَهُ قَوْمُهُ يُهْرَعُونَ إِلَيْهِ And his people start rushing towards him running as if it's a competition, who goes first and who will be the first one to see these guests. Though just before them coming, they were committing their filthy actions. Brothers and sisters, Prophet Lut sees them coming. He has his guests. Yani guys, come on. He says, Ya Qawmi, my people, he still has that bond. My people, Ya Qawm, Ha ulai banati, Hunna atharu lakum. We have respected sisters. My own daughters will take part in that solution. We'll all work together. If you guys want to start a new page, change your ways, come on, there's other ways to fulfill your desires properly in the proper channel and means. Not like this. Fattaqullah, fear God. What are you guys gathered up like that? What's going on? What kind of human beings do this? Do not embarrass me in front of my guests. Wallahi, it's a shame. Aib, come on guys. Is there not a single person amongst you who is in the right mind, who can tell them what's right from what's wrong? What's wrong with you people? Then they respond back. What do they say? You know we're not interested in the sisters and the ladies, though they may be respected. No, no, no. We're not interested in your daughters. We're not interested in that. Look at that filth. May Allah protect us. They tell Prophet Lut, you know exactly and very well what is it that we want. Prophet Lut is in pain. This is getting really bad and out of control. So he says, Prophet Lut said, I wish I was so strong and had the ability to punish you all and ruin you all. Shame! Or seek support in a group of people that are respectful and have a strong connection to stop that filth from spreading. Then the people of Lut, brothers and sisters, they try to push through and go see the guests of Prophet Lut to that level of nastiness. But 
Something miraculous happened. What is it? As you're trying to push through and break through into Prophet Lut's house and reach to the guests, all of a sudden, Allah caused them to be blind. They can no longer see, brothers and sisters, the first of punishments to come their way. But this is a miracle. What just happened? They're confused and perhaps they're planning to come back the next day. All of a sudden, these guests and strangers, they tell Prophet Lut, Inna Rusulu Rabbik. We are messengers from God. They are angels. Len yasilu ilayk. Lut, don't worry. They will not touch you. They will not reach you. They will not harm you. It's over. No worries. Here is the plan. Here is how we will evacuate the situation. Enough is enough. فَأَسْرِي بِأَهْلِكَ بِقِطْعٍ مِّنَ الليل. I want you tonight, go out with your family, the believing family members that you have. وَلَا يَلْتَفِتْ مِنْكُمْ أَحَادٌ إِلَّا مْرَأَتَكَ I don't anyone, once they leave that city, don't look back, don't feel bad, and move forward, except your wife. Don't go and wake up your wife or make sure she comes along with you. No. إِنَّهُ مُصِيبُهَا مَا أَصَابَهُمْ She will certainly suffer the fate of the others. She will face the same consequences as, as these men. طب, she didn't uh, get involved into these things. I'm saying that. The Prophet Lut didn't say that. I'm giving an example here. She didn't participate in these actions. So why would she have the same fate and same punishment? Because she took part into the action. In what sense? She encouraged it. She facilitated the path for them. She promoted it. She supported it. She told the men when other guests will show up to Prophet Lut So she's one of them. May Allah protect us, Ya Allah, and make us strong. Then the angels tell Prophet Lut, Tomorrow morning is their appointment of the punishment. And how close is the morning from now? Brothers and sisters, and the dark night approaches Prophet Lut السلام, and the believing family members of his, they leave the city. And sadly to say, but Alhamdulillah for everything, they were the only believing Muslim household in the entire city. And the next morning comes. And Allah sends His punishment in three ways. Number one, فَأَخَذَتْهُمُ الصَّيْحَةُ مُشْرِقِينَ During that sunrise, a very loud bang and noise to wake them all up. Everybody would to wake up. No one would stay sleeping after this very loud bang and sound. Wake up, not smell the coffee. Wake up and smell the punishment. May Allah protect us, Ya Allah. فَجَعَلْنَا عَالِيَهَا سَافِلَهَا And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that land, they have made what's on top flipped upside down, just like how they flipped the pure innate nature, just like how they flipped the truth, just like how they criticized Lut and his family of wanting to be pure, and to them, filth was pure. May Allah protect us from changing the truth. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. So Allah flipped them. And the third thing, وَأَمْطَرْنَا عَلَيْهِمْ حِجَارَةً مِنْ سِجِّيلٍ Allah made it rain rocks, very strong, rough rocks, hitting every single one of them who participated in any way, shape, or form, and they all got ruined. Then Allah says, إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ in this story, in this ayat that I recited to you that Allah has shared with us, للمتوسمين, to those who see the sin and see the consequence, to those who make sure they realize we shouldn't be worshiping no desires because this is what may happen to us in one way or another. May Allah grant us strength, brothers and sisters. May Allah protect us and keep us straight on the right path of Allah, which is none other than Islam, the submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.